Hi, in this video I will give you some basic tips for Grand Bazaar and show you how you can reach some of the more elevated positions on the map. Now just as a heads up, you will need the sprint perk if you want to make the longer distance jumps I show you in this video. Also to get the most out of these positions you should obviously play on servers with no kill cam enabled. Before we start I just want to mention the invisible walls. It will prevent you from entering any of the major buildings and this one here is probably the most famous example on this map. It may look like you can get inside but this is not the case so don't waste your time. This holds especially true if you are anywhere above the ground level like I show you in this case. Again, it looks like you can enter, but there really is no way to get in there. Not everything on this map is destructible, but if you encounter a door with this window on top, you can blow a hole in there. C4 has been placed! And if there is only a window on top, no door, then you can't get in there. This becomes helpful at the entrance of the alleyway. Here you can make yourself a bit more room to engage the enemy. It's also good to know that this wall on the opposite side of that green kitchen is destructible. Near the spawn point is this two story building you can enter and with the sprint perk, you can actually jump on the street sign over there. And if you want a bit more cover, just jump on the front side of it. This first one is easily overlooked, but can be very helpful if the enemy has taken the market or pushed you back completely to the spawn. You can also get the enemies which camp on the high building over there. As a recon you can get even higher up. All you need to do is place your MAV and jump on it. Just on the opposite side is another high point you can get to. In this case I use the Watnik to get up these concrete blocks. And the vault animation makes it a bit difficult, but you just run along and jump on the edge. And if you run alongside of the building, you can get to another little area. With the recon class, you can also get up there. Just place the MAV again, jump on the bus and over to the concrete blocks. 
This can be a little bit difficult, but after a few tries you get the hang of it. On the east side of the market is this single building, which has no stairs to get up to the roof. The botnik can help you out in this case though. It's a nice place to cover the market itself and the two roads leading to it. You can also jump on a small shack right next to it. At the market itself is also a nice hiding spot. You just use the building to get up to the roof and jump over the small market stands. Just follow them to the end and jump on this sign. If enemies come around the corner below you, you will probably get the drop on them since no one expects someone to be up there. Further down the street to the black point D, there is a lot of rubble on the street and you can park your botnik up there to also get to a high point. Since you have only limited view from up there, it is probably not very useful though. Just on the other side of the street you can do the same thing again, here using the botnik. US side this also works with the Hambi. But once you are up there you should watch out for this little side alley here. You can't jump in there but there is no way to get out again. At the highway flag you can get onto the street signs again. But there is not a lot of cover around so you shouldn't stay up there for too long. The same holds true for the other side, mostly because you can't capture the flag from up there. Not even if you jump on the flagpole itself. side of the highway road itself is another elevated position you can reach with the vehicle. Once up there you have a nice view at E and also the A black point. to the highway flag is a similar spot. Just place your Humvee like this and jump over to the lamp. That way you can also access two lower areas. If you have the jumping skills you can also go over there from the first position I showed you.
And the same works the other way around of course. If you don't want to waste the vehicles of your team, you can also use the MAV as a recomer. This can be a bit tricky though, since you have to place the MAV right on the railing, immediately jump on it and then over to the lamp on the other side. The other side of the road has a similar position, which you can get up again by using a vehicle. Or just as before, go recon and use the MAV. There's a spot between A and D where you will see these two trees. A grenade, rocket or C4 can take the big tree down so you can get up. Not only do you get a good view at the flag point D, but you can also run further along and reach A. There is also cover on this side and you can take a look in the alleyway. Got some fresh rounds for you. The same spot is a similar roof, just on the opposite side of the building. This trick is only possible with the Humvee since the Watnik can't get up the stairs. Here you can also go around the building to cover the road coming from the Russian spawn. Last but not least a few spots in the alleyway itself. Because you need the LAV, they aren't of much use. Another one is right next to the flag point. Again, lots of invisible walls, but you can still reach a few other points from up here. Jumping on this sign is another way to get to the first spot, for example. Or you can jump to the other side of the alley. The MAV allows you to jump over the metal rods. Because of the invisible walls you need the MAV to get back on the other side. And that's it, if you found it helpful please leave a comment and tell me if I should do similar videos for the other maps.